So this course, as I mentioned before, is an extension of the first uh, part of the Polyrhythm Possibilities series. In the beginning of the course, we're going to review four types of fives, four types of sevens, five against one, five against two, five against three, and five against four, which is basically playing, let's say, in quintuplets and moving to a larger time few and an even slower time few and a big five time few, switching back and forth. And we're going to use snare drum etudes and drum set applications of that. And then the book goes into something that is really useful, which is develop your inner clock, be able to internalize uh, rhythms and a lot of singing and mental coordination, which I call the fifth limb, which is going to really help you get a hold of the chord note when you play over the bar lines and things like that. So there is eight what I call stick and strolls, which is basically have, have you play odd groupings over the quarter note while you're counting. Uh, another interesting thing on this course, we go heavily into ostinatos, feet ostinatos in three, five, nine, seven, be able to play grooves over ostinato and solo over ostinatos. And also uh, getting phrases that are played in time and having the illusion that things are speeding up and slowing down, get an entire phrase, play slightly faster, get an entire phrase, play slightly slower. So give that illusion that you're really manipulating time. Very interesting things. The highlight of this course, in my opinion, is the collection of bracketing etudes. What do you mean by bracketing? Let's say I'm playing 4-4 four, four, and I have a superimposed 5 over the 4 or a 7 over the 4 and now I start playing ideas over that secondary pulse without missing and without losing the main pulse. Many times I see drummers like Vinny Colaiuta playing the groove, all of a sudden they are soloing or improvising in a certain velocity that it's like, how he's getting to those tempos? How is he getting to this phrase? And a great example, if you listen to his performance on a song called uh, Old Blues, New Brews, I think is the name of the song, John McLaughlin live with the five piece band, which is uh, Mark Bride on bass, Chicory on piano, John McClough on guitar, Christian Michael Bryan on bass, Vinny Colaiuta on drums, and Kenny Garrett on saxophone. Take a look at that song. I think it's called Old Blues, New Brews. It's a song, the song is in uh, 515, I believe. It's a blues in five, but watch what Vinny does on that, on that song. How he's able to speed up, slow down, play faster things, slower things, so this bracketing concept. Following the tradition of people like Joey Morello, Take Five, the legendary piece where he's playing 5-4 with a feet ostinato while improvising amazing rhythms over that. Or the tradition of the great Max Roach when he played the piece the drummer also waltz where he's playing an ostinato in 3-4 while he's playing this amazing stuff on top or the great terry bozio these amazing feet ostinatos and playing stuff on top and vinnie calayud and steve smith as well ed blackwell a uh, great jazz drummer from new orleans playing ostinatos and playing stuff over that so this course also goes into training you to play odd meter stinatos and how do you start to be free 
with things on top of that. We start very basic to very complex. One of the difference between this course and other courses that I have seen is I simplified in a way that you plan complex ideas on very basic meters, four, three, four, six, four, five, four, seven, and nine. So everything on this uh, course can groove and you can tap your foot even if it's very complex. So uh, that's another thing that's on this course is the ability to, or train you to have the ability to accompany yourself in odd meters or even 4-4, four, 2-4 four, four, and play complex rhythms on top of that. So that's uh, a section on feet ostinato that's really exciting and I hope you're gonna enjoy that. It's a challenging uh, topic but rewarding to be able to make music uh, on your own like a piano player when they come with the left hand and solo with the right. This is the same concept, but for the drum set. At the end of this course, you're gonna see that there is some advanced warm-ups, and that's like I throw everything and then the kitchen sink, you know? It's like uh, ostinatos, septuplets, quintuplets, there is even some double bass in there. Those are things that I designed originally for myself. It's a routine that, that encapsulates, it compresses a lot of different topics. Those are very challenging uh, warm-ups, but every time I play them, it puts me on a whole different uh, mind uh, space uh, that allows me to then play certain things that are out of this world. So I hope you enjoy them. I have been studying polyrhythms for many years, starting in 1988 to present. And uh, just at Berkeley alone, uh, like I mentioned before, 12 years, 36 semesters. Uh, it's a lot of students, and I, I'm very fortunate to have the experience to teach in real classrooms with real students. Everything on Polyrhythm Volume 2, as complex as it can get, everything is on top of a very basic pulse. I want every thing to be able to groove, to be able to have a steady beat. And uh, I'm on a stage of my life right now that I want to play music that the audience can relate to. And one of the elements that helps that is the groove and the time and the beat. So everything on this uh, course, we I avoided on purpose, sudden change of meters and stuff like that. You know, it's smooth, complex, but with a pulse. So everything should groove, everything should be able to, uh, you should be able to tap your foot for it, even though it's complex. So this is a wonderful course. It's very challenging, but very rewarding. And if you ever need any help with this, if you have questions or you can reach out to me at henrydrums.msn.com or visit my online school, thedrumsetcoach.com or if you're in Colorado, the Drum Set Coach Academy, I'm here to help you and to guide you through this amazing journey of rhythmic possibilities and polyrhythmic possibilities. I hope that by studying this course diligently, 
that you're playing is going to go to a whole other galaxy. All right? I'll see you soon. Thank you.